Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, good Monday morning, everybody. Temperatures, yes, still cold outside across the state, but a lot warmer than this time yesterday. One spot right now with the temperature in the single digits, that is London, all right, 14 in uh, Somerset. So neighboring community is up into the teens there. McKee's 15. Look just how much warmer we are, though. I mean, in most areas, 15 to 30 degrees warmer in between that big range. That's a big spike in temperatures. Say big thanks to that southerly to southwesterly flow, bringing in a much warmer air mass from the south and west. Plus, a few scattered clouds also kind of help to keep temperatures a little warmer. Now, let's look at the satellite and radar here because back to the north and west, there is precipitation, frozen. Yeah, freezing rain and snow as you work your way back up into Illinois, back into Missouri and into Arkansas where there are some ice storm warnings in place. But here's the good news, though. Upper level winds are taking that moisture and keeping it north and northwest of us as we go through the day. Now, it will be bringing us cloud cover, but the precipitation doesn't get here until we get late tonight. And I'm talking after midnight, and even then, it would be very light. This is at noon today. Look at the passing clouds. But as we go, at times, it'll be mostly sunny. Other times, it'll turn partly sunny. Look at tonight, though. Thickening clouds, the moisture creeping up right along the Ohio River around midnight. And then as we advance further into tomorrow morning, we'll start bringing in some rain showers likely before sunrise into central and northern Kentucky. And some of that will start working down into our southern communities too. With temperatures tonight before the clouds move in, could sneak down to about 30, even with a southerly wind, we could potentially see some of this start off in the wee hours of the morning as a little freezing drizzle or light freezing rain. I don't expect any big problems because overall the southerly winds should help to warm that up. As we go through the day, some showers around. I think the best chance for rain tomorrow, though, is the first half of the day into early afternoon, but still some showers in the forecast and then even another chance going into the day Wednesday and Thursday. Today, sun and clouds above freezing, though. How do upper 30 sound? Well, that's still cold, but compared to where we've been, we'll take it, and it puts us above freezing, meaning that with some sunshine, the melting will continue. Tonight, isolated showers could be, again, some brief freezing rain. The next big thing, well, it's kind of a two-sided thing here. Warmer air for one thing, all right? And we're talking temperatures well above freezing, but we're also looking at on the other, the flip side of this is a very wet week from tomorrow and running through Sunday. Repeated rounds of rain likely lead to an inch and a half to two and a half inches, maybe three in some parts of the state before it's all said and done. You add in the melting of the snow on top of one and a half to two and a half inches of rain, and you're talking about maybe some flooding issues in spots. We watch those temperatures climb through the week all the way to 60 on Thursday. And then we start dropping again back to the lower 40s with another shower chance into Sunday.